Hello, fine people of the interwebs. Today I would like to talk to you about neighbors. That's right, I want to talk about neighbors and I don't want to talk about bad neighbors because you know what? That's a whole other topic. Yeah, and that's too easy. I want to talk about something a little more fun. I want to talk about quirky neighbors. Tell you a little tale of some neighbors I had that were very quirky. Now, several years ago, I was living in the middle of downtown Seoul in South Korea. I lived in a really old neighborhood, the kind of neighborhood that had not been modernized in any way in a long time. The people in that neighborhood had been living the same way that they'd been living for generations. It was really cool. Mind you, the apartment I lived in had a lot of cockroaches. That wasn't cool. I had a job where I used to work late into the evenings, so I'd love to sleep in whenever I could. Now, of course, I only had two opportunities a week. Saturday and Sunday. Saturdays usually weren't a problem in any way, shape, or form. Sundays, on the other hand, well, you know what, in the warmer months, it was a little hard to sleep in. It was on the second floor, really close to the ground level. And you know what? There were no sidewalks in this neighborhood, and there was no green space. Typically, a road would look something like this. No sidewalks, no green space. So, what would happen every Sunday morning? Let me tell you. Every Sunday morning at around 8 o'clock, sometimes around 8.30, a group of old men, pensioners, would come out of their houses all around the neighborhood where I lived. And they would set up big sheets of cardboard on the sides of the road. Now these pieces of cardboard were for sitting on. Then they would bust out the barbecue grills. Oh yeah. 8 o'clock in the morning, the guys were busting out the barbecue grills, beer and soju. Now soju is a Korean rice wine, about 22% alcohol, which is consumed straight. Now anywhere from 5 to 10 to 15 of these old guys would sit down right under my apartment, right under my window, um, and just start barbecuing pork. I know what you're thinking. They're barbecuing and drinking. That doesn't seem weird. Remember what I said, 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning. When you're drinking soju, well, let's say it does the trick pretty quickly. These guys would get hammered very fast. And I'd be lying in bed trying to sleep, smelling barbecue pork, which smelled amazing, and hearing all these loud, drunk old men laughing and screaming and, oh, well, you get the picture. Now normally, by around 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the morning, they were wasted. They were stumbling around in the middle of the road, singing, laughing, blocking traffic. And that's when the angry housewives would come out of their homes, screaming at their husbands, yelling at them, and dragging them back into their houses. This sort of thing went on every single Sunday morning that I lived in that neighborhood. Yeah, I never got angry because I always thought it was so hilarious. Apparently their wives never found it hilarious. I only lived there for a year, but man, I will always remember those old guys and those Sunday morning drinking binges. So, those are the quirky neighbors that I'm thinking about. My question to you is, did you ever have any quirky neighbors? Neighbors that you remember fondly? If so, leave a comment below. Thanks and see you later from Busan Kevin.